What is going on guys? My name is Pakazak and I'm here to show you how to make this cool realistic synthesized snare drum sound. It sounds like this. But yeah. Uh, I think it sounds pretty real. It took me a kind of a while to do this but um, it's using FM synthesis and citrus and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of break it down from oscillator or operator to operator. So the first one being uh, operator one is just uh, kind of a tone I made. Uh, it's around 200 hertz, I think, and um, a little bit under actually. And to get these kind of impact sounds, these percussive sounds with an impact to it, uh, the easiest way to do that is with a pitch drop. And if you go to my other video, the FM kick, the 808, uh, I kind of talk about the same thing and so this is just a pitch envelope that I'm using and that just helps with the impact it's also um, got a volume envelope as well and it's being FM by 2 which is I didn't even mess with the frequency ratio and I actually added just a volume envelope just so it's you know very short or else it would sound like this just too noisy and um oh yeah that's right so yeah oscillator 2 is just a noise it's just, all it is is noise but it's just being fm <laughs> i didn't even i forgot about that um i actually am using 2 as a noise as well i'm outputting that as well but it's going through a filter and i'm also fm wing operator 1 apparently but um yeah so just a volume envelope there at first and uh also with a pitch uh Actually, it doesn't sound too bad without the pitch envelope, but that's just be probably because um, of all the other things I'm doing to it, and uh, also because it's like, it does sound more noty though, if you really listen. So this just kind of gets that impact and that noisy kind of sound. So that's it for operator one. I did have it running through effects at first, but I, I was hearing a sound that I didn't like, and I figured out that's what it was coming from. Just the the tone was going through the reverb, and then in turn it was making this weird kind of note harmonic sound that I didn't like, and so I took it off. But uh, operator three is, uh, I see it's frequency ratio of four, it's being, operated it's being modulated by operator four which is a very high and just crazy messed up uh graph here um harmonics um it doesn't have the root and it just has i actually learned a while ago that um just making little plateaus in uh the in the harmonics randomly i guess kind of randomly it makes it more uh gritty more like rough sounding and so I just wanted to do that and modulate it just to give it more of like a crazy noisy kind of sound. Because if you think about like percussive sounds and like drums or like just like hitting things, you know, I mean, it can have that tonal quality. And that's, you know, when people talk about tuning bass or tuning, um, tuning drums and stuff like that, it can. But like a lot of uh, like especially like snares and stuff, too, uh, if there's a lot of noise in it, it, it kind of makes it sound more real especially if you're synthesizing it, it just makes it sound more like an actual noise that's happening, uh, acoustic noise and uh, acoustic sound. And then it just has random phases just because I wanted it to be random in case you don't know how to do that. It's just this arrow down here and then you click uh, random phases, which is right here. And I just pitched that way up and I actually mixed in a little bit of noise with it too, just because I wanted to be crazy. Um, <laughs> it's got a triangle wave. Um, it's a little bit off, I think, but basically just a triangle wave and with a volume and pitch drop as well, because without it, it would sound, well, first it sounds like this. There's really actually not much of a difference. I might've been planning to do something different when I made that, but, uh, but you definitely need that volume envelope just so it's like the same kind of length hit as the everything else that's going on. So yeah, that's just those two and four is modulating three. And then it is going through a little bit of the effects, the reverb with a very short decay. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. 
that just kind of gives it this sort of metallic-y, noisy kind of sound. And operator 5. I'll turn that up just so you can hear it. So it's kind of weird, right? Um, basically, all it is is a sine wave at a random... I didn't... Like, I wasn't thinking about, like, tuning it to a certain note when I was making it. I was just kind of, like, screwing with uh, the frequency ratios. And I just wanted to make this a weird off number, like, not... You know, even though this is not one... See, okay, so seven, the one octave above it would be uh, 1.4, and then 2.8, and then 5.6. So, yeah, this is still not... And uh, I just didn't want it to be the same multiple of the bass pitch because uh, I didn't want it to be just too noty and too... I, like I said before, I wanted it to sound like it's an actual noise. So uh, I just wanted some randomness in there and not to be like too sounding, like too fake sounding, I guess. That's without the volume envelope. And I actually did pitch this one up instead just because, again, I want it to be random, a weird kind of noise. So even though it's not really like a... But uh, it's being modulated by operator 6, which is a very, very slow, slowly modulated since it's a very low um, frequency ratio. So that means it's like... I mean, it's not terribly low, but it's pretty low compared to that. And... Uh, and it just makes sort of like a like a if you <laughs> like a as opposed to like a like a solid sound it's like you can hear it kind of moving you see what i mean it's kind of like like bumpy i don't know how to describe that sound but um yeah and that's of course got a volume envelope on it as well and they're both sine waves and uh it's actually being fully uh all the way up this knob um, total FM I guess and uh, then it's also being run through the same effects and yeah so that's that sound and I did this just to add more um, character to the sound and more strangeness I guess I gotta turn that back down I don't know where it was but sure and then the last one is uh, the noise, like a, this one, operator two, which is all noise. It's actually run through this bandpass though, because I wanted just a certain part of the frequency spectrum of the noise. And so I set the cutoff there, and the resonance pretty, pretty high. And uh, so it, uh, I also got a cutoff envelope. So meaning, so here's what it sounds like. And let me turn this off really quick. It's got a volume envelope, so. So that's what I mean. So the cutoff graph, since it's like going down like that, you, see, you hear how it sounds like it's ripping almost. And if you look very carefully, you'll see in the, the graph of, of it, it's all like coming down a little bit. It's all like moving downwards, down the spectrum. And that creates that kind of ripping sound. And uh, so it's basically just moving this knob, and it's pretty high resolution or resonance, sorry, which corresponds to like basically bandwidth, which is how skinny you make that. And I just wanted it to be pretty fairly, um, fairly resonant. So yeah, very. So it's a, high resonance is like this, and low resonance is like wider just in case you didn't know. And yeah, just the cutoff frequency. So it's like, kind of like, I just wanted it to make that noise, just that ripping sound to get it more edgy. And uh, of course with the volume envelope to make it better like that. And that's basically it. Um, All together, you heard it before. Uh, sounds pretty good. Like I'm, I'm really happy about the way I it came out. It took me probably 
well total because I fiddled with it over the past few days, probably like a couple hours, but um, it works and I, I'm impressed by how pretty real it sounds. Oh, and real quick, guys, um, I forgot to tell you about this when I was recording, but um, I'm actually adding nine voices of unison because it actually made the sound more solid, like someone's actually like hitting a snare drum and it like clouded up the higher frequencies to make it sound more more cloudy and more solid because before it sounds like this it just sounds too metallic and too like not i don't know and i just i was just messing around i was like oh i wonder what unison would do and i added that and i was like surprised pleasantly surprised i was like okay and i turned the panning all the way down just because i wanted it to be all center turn the volume almost all the way up and the pitch all the way up as well almost all the way up because without it i get this weird like Wah, 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 like sound in the upper frequencies and I noticed when I turned it up it just took it away and um, yeah it's like a weird wah, wah. I don't know how to <laughs> describe it but um, yeah I guess it just kind of clouds it up more and, but uh, yeah it makes it sound good just I wanted I wanted to tell you about that because I forgot about it and I'm also running it through some EQ just shaping it to taste and uh, running it through a very small reverb space um lower um diffusion and i just wanted to make it sort of like sounding like it's in a, like a drum room like a small room just to give it a little bit of extra air in it and it, you see the wetness is pretty low i mean it's it's up there but i also made it so it's mono um totally uh, merged so you still get that you know centered sound that i appreciate in a snare and um also a little bit of wave shaping just pretty standard just to give it extra bite <laughs> extra bite <laughs> um extra edge whatever you want to call it and uh then just a little bit extra high end just because i felt like it and yeah that's basically it that's how you make this little synthetic snare that sounds pretty realistic and at least at this point in my time i think it sounds pretty good um, let me know if you have any uh, questions about this and also give me some uh, if you have any suggestions about this maybe you guys might know stuff that I don't even know and I would definitely like to hear from you and also just any ideas for future videos that you'd want me to see you want me to do I mean <laughs> and um, yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time